A maritime mobile service identity is a series of nine digits which are sent in digital form over a radio frequency channel in order to uniquely identify ship stations, ship earth stations, coast stations, coast earth stations, and group calls. These identities are formed in such a way that the identity or part thereof can be used by telephone and telex subscribers connected to the general telecommunications network to call ships automatically. Types There are now six kinds of maritime mobile service identities, ship station identities, group ship station identities, coast station identities, group coast station identities. SAR Aircraft navigational aids and craft associated with a parent ship. Maritime identification digits, an MID consists of three digits, always starting with a number from 2 to 7. A second MID can be assigned once the first or subsequently allocated MID is more than 80% exhausted, and the rate of assignments is such that 90% exhaustion is foreseen. A listing of MIDs assigned to each country is written in Table 1 of ITU Radio Regulations Appendix 43. The first digit of an MMSI, the initial digits of an MMSI categorize the identity, as defined in by recommendation M585. The meaning of the first digit is, zero ship group, coast station, or group of coast stations, one for use by SAR aircraft, two to seven MMSIs used by individual ships beginning with an MID, 2 Europe, 3 North and Central America and Caribbean, 4 Asia, 5 Oceania, 6 Africa, 7 South America. 8 Handheld VHF transceiver with DSC and GNSS, 9 devices using a freeform number identity, search and rescue transponders, man overboard DSC and or AIS devices, 406 MHz CPIRBs fitted with an AIS transmitter, craft associated with a parent ship, navigational aids. Notes. Station identity formats. Equals ship station identities equals, the nine-digit code constituting a ship station identity is formed as follows, MID XXXXXX, where MID represent the maritime identification digits and X is any figure from 0 to 9. If the ship is fitted with an in mass at B, C or M ship earth station, or it is expected to be so equipped in the foreseeable future, then the identity should have three trailing zeros, MID XXX 100, if the ship is fitted with an in mass at C ship earth station, or it is expected to be so equipped in the foreseeable future, then the identity could have one trailing zero, MID XXXXXO, if the ship is fitted with an in mass at A ship earth station or has satellite equipment other than in Mesut, then the identity needs no trailing zero. Equals group ship station call identities equals, group ship station call identities for calling simultaneously more than one ship are formed as follows, OMIDXXXXX, where the first figure is zero, and X is any figure from zero to nine. The particular MID represents only the country assigning the group ship station call identity and so does not prevent group calls to fleets containing more than one ship nationality. Coast station identities Coast station identities are formed as follows, OOMIDXXXX, where the first two figures are zeros, and X is any figure from zero to nine. The MID reflects the country in which the coast station or coast earth station is located. Group coast station call identities, group coast station call identities for calling simultaneously more than one coast station have the same format as individual coast station IDs, two leading zeros, the MID, and the four digits. They are formed as a subset of coast station identities, as follows. OOMID 0000 for any coast station using the MID, 0099900000 for any VHF coast station, U.S. Coast Guard stations use a non standard MMSI, 0036699999. Any U.S. Coast Guard base station note that administrations in other countries may use different formats. Reference ITUR Recommendations M585 7. Search and Rescue Transmitter AIS search and rescue transmitters have an identifier related to the manufacturer, rather than a country's MID, 970YYXXXX, 
the digitals represented by the two Y characters are assigned by the International Association for Marine Electronics Companies and refer to the SART manufacturer, while the XS are sequential digits assigned by the manufacturer identifying the SART. Equals federal US MMSIs equals, in the United States, federal MMSIs are assigned by the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, and are normally formed as 3669XXXXX. Non-federal MMSIs are assigned by the Federal Communications Commission normally as part of the ship station license application, and are formed as 366XXXX100 for ships on international voyages and ships needing an immersed mobile earth station, or 366XXXXX0 for all other ships. The United States Coast Guard Group Ship Station Call Identity is 03669999, and Group Coast Station Call Identity is 00366999. In the U.S., MMSIs are primarily used for digital selective calling and for assigning and MESAT identities. Exhaustion of MMSIs, because all ships on international voyages, as well as all ships fitted with an MESAT B or M ship Earth station, are assigned MMSIs of the format MIDXXX100. A serious problem has arisen internationally in assigning sufficient numbers of MIDs to all administrations that need them. For example, a country having 10,000 MMSIT equipped ships would require 10 MIDs just to accommodate those 10,000 ships. If 50,000 boaters decided to fit small MMSIT M terminals, 50 additional MIDs would be required to accommodate them. The problem exists within MESAT equipped ships because ITUT recommendations require that in MESAT ship Earth stations be assigned the identity TMXXXI, where T indicates the type of in MESAT station, YY indicates the in MESAT station extension, and MIDXXX indicates the ship station number, which relates to the assigned ship station identity MIDXXX100. The MMSO is meant to be an all-inclusive ship electronic identity, used in one form or another by every GMDSS or telecommunications instrument on the ship. Questions have been raised, however, whether the MMSI can in practice totally fulfill that role. ITU may eventually end the practice of relating an MESAT MESIN identities with the ship MMSI identity. The World Radio Conference, Geneva, 1997 adopted Resolution 344 concerning the exhaustion of the Maritime Mobile Service Identity Resource. In view of improvements to public switch telephone networks, and new capabilities of the InMESAT system other than InMESAT B or M, previous restrictions should no longer be applicable. All nine digits of the MMSI can be used in such cases, and no longer need to end in trailing zeros. See also, Automatic Identification System, Call Sign, Global Maritime Distress Safety System. References M585 Assignment and Use of Identities in the Maritime Mobile Service. International Telecommunication Union. AB Recommendation M585 4. ITU. March 2007. First specified in this revision. Carried forward in newer versions of the M585 recommendation. Recommendation ITURM 585-7, Assignment and Use of Identities in the Maritime Mobile Service. Geneva, Switzerland, ITU. March 2015. Maritime Mobile Service Identity. Australian Maritime Safety Authority. Liaison Statement to CIRM, Identities for AISSART, MOB and EPIRBAs. June 22, 2011. Retrieved March 30, 2014. AB Maritime Mobile Service Identity. U.S. Coast Guard Navigation Center. External links, Maritime Mobile Service Identity, USCG, which was adapted from Appendix 43 of the International Telecommunications Union Radio Regulations, Table of MIDs from ITU.